Zhengzhou is 470 miles, 760 kilometers south of Beijing, and 300 miles, 480 kilometers east of Xi'an. The Yellow River, one of China's major waterways and the cradle of China's civilization, flows to the north. Zhengzhou is the capital of Henan province. It's been called the Green City. This was for the biggest number of trees. It was all within this city, but that was many years ago. The name Zhengzhou comes from the times of the Sui dynasty, but the actual location was in modern-day Shengyao. During the Tang dynasty, the name switched, and the new location was established. About 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles northwest of Zhengzhou, situated on the southern bank of the Yellow River, there are greenlands, clear waters, pavilions, scattered statues with interesting stories inside a beautiful scenic area. With more than 20 years of development, the scenic area is now a national tourist destination with a modern amusement facility, which appeals to thousands of tourists from all over the world. This Yellow River scenic area is the ideal viewpoint to appreciate the Mother River of China. Mount Song. It is one of the five famous mountains in China, and there's no need to say more about the beauty of Song Mountain. If you visit one mountain in Henan, make it Mount Song. It has charming natural views, and it is what it is famous for. There is a Shaolin Temple situated on the west foothills of Song Mountain. When you hear Shaolin Temple, many times tourists immediately think Shaolin Kung Fu. And while it is true that you can appreciate wonderful performances here, this still is a religious monastery. Another place worth a visit near the Shaolin Temple is the Pagoda Forest. There's about 250 different pagodas, which are the graves of every abbot of Shaolin Temple from the Tang Dynasty. The constructions reflecting the architectural styles of every dynasty are now the treasures for studying Chinese ancient brick architecture and the art of engraving. Also, one of the four academies of classical learning in Song Dynasty, Songyan Academy, and the Astronomical Observatory are both worth a visit and located around here. Shang Ruins is the largest and most well-preserved site of the capital of the city in early Shang Dynasty, 16th to 11th century BC, and it's located in the downtown city area. It's more ancient than Yinju in Anyang. It covers an area of about 25 square kilometers, 9.7 square miles. The site still has a city wall that is nearly 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles. Items unearthed here include rare bronze, many, many shell articles, stonewares, jade articles, and relics of silos, wells, and graves, offering plenty of material for the study of the development of slave society and the Chinese ancient cities and the history of this wonderful land. Lastly, situated in the northern part of the city, Henan Museum. It's a modern historic museum. And from the architectural style of the museum to the treasures that are stored there, history presented here will absolutely amaze you. The idea for the design of the museum comes from the aspect of the astronomical observatory, which looks mysterious and pyramid-like. Cultural relics housed in the museum are definitively precious. There's ancient stone carvings, bronze wares, jade articles of Chu, and workmanship of Ming. One item not to be missed is a rare sculpture of an ivory cabbage on which insects are vividly carved. It's said that sometimes one cannot tell the ivory cabbage from a real one when glancing at the sculpture. Jinjiao, China. These are interesting things with JC.